Hey there, everyone. This is Dawn Del Vecchio coming to you live on Monday, July 1st, 2019 here in Sedona, Arizona. Happy July, everyone. I hope that your summer is, we are just at the beginning of summer. Your summer is shaping up already to, to be something magnificent. Uh, so today's topic is what is sacred feminine leadership? And before I dive into the topic, I just wanted to request that if you find value in this message, please give it a thumbs up or a heart. Please share it with your friends. And if you're on my YouTube channel, please subscribe. Uh, if you find value in this and hit the little bell icon so that you can get notified when I upload new videos. Okay, so here we go. What is, excuse me, what is sacred feminine leadership? I'm just going to connect in. As we know, this is a time on the planet when the feminine is rising, when we need new models for all kinds of things. We need sustainability. We need community. We need lifting as we rise principles. We need a planet that supports life that uh, we need a human, human family that supports life and human systems that support life, that create sustainability for the seventh generation, that takes care of the waters and the communities and the children and the elderly and the trees and the air and all of it. And in that, there is a peace. There is a piece of this, what we would call the great awakening, the great shifting of the ages into the age of Aquarius. And that is the rise of the feminine frequency. And if you've listened to me before, you've heard me talk about this. This is not about women rising to dominate men. This is about the reawakening of the divine feminine principle, which is more the heart-based principle within the consciousness of humanity. Now, having lived for approximately 6,000-ish years or more in a system of male domination, we have come to value the principles of the masculine over the feminine. This has set up a lot of problems for everybody, for women, for men, for children, for elderly, for the planet herself. This is not a man-blaming thing. This is what happens when we are out of balance. So when we think about the masculine principles that are within us all, we can think about direction, action, mind, ideas, thought, clarity, focus, narrowed focus, and narrow tunnel vision focus. These principles are necessary for bringing certain things into form, bringing ideas, conceptions, uh, vision into form. However, without the feminine principle, which is receptive, nurturing, gestating, contextualizing, seeing how it impacts the past, present, future, the greater connective web of life. These are the feminine principles, the heart energy. Without that, we miscreate. And so that's the backdrop context. So what does it mean? What does sacred feminine leadership mean? It means leading from the place of sacred balance within. And it means specifically leadership for women who are leading from a place of balance within. So this is not anything about saying that women should lead and, men, lead and men should not. This is not about saying women are better leaders. None of that. My role in this awakening is to train and mentor a small handful of women. At least that's what it's showing up as right now, and that can morph like anything over time. But for now, one of the things that I do with the women I work with, and even some of the men that I work with, few that they are, is to really facilitate the cultivation of the feminine wisdom and the feminine frequency within, and then integrating that with the masculine energies within, and finding what our unique soul guide and signature is for leadership at this time. So leadership, what is that? Well, 
when we think of leadership, we often think of the heads of corporations or the heads of state or any of that stuff. But that's a very, very narrow perspective on leadership because in a sense, we all first have to be the leaders of our own lives, making balanced decisions that are visionary, that are received first, gestated and integrated with the con within the context of our lives and the world, given birth to and then driven with the focus of the mind to create something sustainable and supportive for all. So leadership can be leading our own lives, leading our families, leading some in some role in our communities or our careers. So leadership doesn't have to be some big hoo-ha thing. Leadership, of course, can also be leading your own business. And as an entrepreneur, female entrepreneur myself, a lot of my clients and a lot of the women who are attracted to my work, either in my Facebook groups here, my social media groups, who watch my videos or who come to my retreats tend to be, but not always entrepreneurial in spirit, if not in actual fact yet. So sacred feminine leadership to wrap this up is in the context I'm using it, a leadership grounded in the sacred principles of love and light connection and oneness of all life. It is a leadership that may be that begins from leading one's own self within by being guided by your higher self, your divine spirit truth, and honoring the need to nurture and gestate something before action is taken. And of course, the feminine is that principle of receptivity, intuition, allowing the time of the gestation before massive action is taken. So sacred feminine leadership. Is this resonating with you? If it is, I invite you to share this, to give it a thumbs up, to share a comment below, ask me a question, navigate me. How can I more clearly bring this across? How are you activating sacred feminine leadership in your life at this time? Where do you feel you need support with that? I would be happy to engage this conversation further. And if you feel ready to really deepen into this, of course, I want to invite you to consider joining me in Bali in October or in Thailand in February for a small group intensive retreat of less than 20 women to do deep dive, healing, holding, empowering, sharing work with dance and play and activations and lots of ceremony. So again, to wrap this up, what is sacred feminine leadership? It is when a woman stands in her balanced power of masculine and feminine and leads from the heart. And that's what these times are about, my dear friends, sisters, and brothers all. Okay, I'm going to sign off for now. Happy, fourth of, happy 1st of July, and for my American friends, happy 4th coming up soon. Okay, much love for now. Bye.